Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for December 1st through the 6th, and this could resonate for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So it's a general reading, so I'll just get right in and see what Spirit has to tell you in your first week of December. So at the bottom of the deck here, we have Strength in Reverse. So Scorpio, you could be like avoiding some kind of conflict or... Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Maybe you're avoiding some kind of conflict with someone else or not seeing your true power in a situation. So let's see what spirit has to tell you. What does Scorpio need to know for their first week of December, please, spirit? So we have the Ace of Cups reversed and the Three of Swords. So there could have been, um, you know, there could have been a love offer that was rejected, Scorpio is what this kind of is saying to me, or it could be that there was a love offer you were expecting that didn't come in. Um, I know a lot of people around the holidays might <laughs> expect to... Um, you know, have like um, someone to ask them to get engaged or something like that. Sometimes our expectations can get a little out of hand. So um, that might or might not resonate for you. It's just something that I'm picking up from this uh, Ace of Cups reversed. And then we have the Three of Swords. So whatever this love offer was that was rejected or didn't come through did result in some kind of heartbreak, either for you, Scorpio, or the other person in this situation. So Spirit, what else can you tell Scorpio about this? So then we have the page of cups here in the upright. So I do feel like it was kind of something that was expected, um, Scorpio. Um, and so in the first two cards, we did have a feminine energy. And so now we have a masculine energy coming in. And you can see that he is, you know, real up in the air kind of about a situation. Um, I think that he desires or wants love. However, he just doesn't seem to have like a clear plan about how to get there because it's when pigs fly that this will come together for him, he thinks, or at least that's the way it seems now. And you can see there's like all these stars and moons and stuff coming out of his like energy around his crown chakra. So just real dreamy energy. Um, it's an emotional energy, but not a whole lot to back it up. So that continues to have me feeling like, you know, maybe you expected an Ace of Cups offer to come from this Page of Cups person, but maybe he just wasn't like mature enough or just didn't have enough of, of a plan. He could be thinking about, you know, some other things too. So um, wasn't there another card that came out with that? Mm, well, sorry if I put it back, but um, so Spirit, can you please clarify this Page of Cups? So we have the Four of Wands. So yeah, I think that this uh, Page of Cups person is just kind of keeping their options open. Like I said, I think that he desires love or a connection, but maybe he wants to see more than one person. So, you know, now that we have the Three of Swords here and the Four of Wands, this definitely could be a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. It's just, you know, by a third party situation could just mean that, you know, you wanted to be with this person. Maybe they had alluded to that they were going to ask you out or ask you to be in a commitment with them. And then here they are just being like, well, actually, I'm still thinking about like these other two women possibly that I would have to let go of to give one ace of cups to someone so spirit is there anything else you'd like to share with scorpio about this energy so we have the ten of swords and judgment so you're having a hard time putting this down or letting this go uh scorpio in the first week of december and it could be that it's just because it's kind of fresh, you know, 
you might still be a little bit in this heartbreak energy. And I see that like at the end of the week, you might be kind of coming out of it, but you're still having a hard time just accepting that, you know, there could have been some betrayal here because this person, I think, you know, he might have said some really like lovely things to you and been very emotional and seemed emotionally available and then kind of was like, oh, but I'm thinking about this too. Like kind of like a flaky person. I'm not saying he's a bad person, just, you know, kind of an emotionally a flake. Um, just doesn't want to commit to one person at this time. And I think he's also probably quite young, but I think you are too. So um, you might be having kind of a hard time just like accepting that you were betrayed. And at the end of the week, you might be looking for judgment in this uh, scenario here, hoping that this person gets their judgment. So then we have the Knight of Wands and the hanged man in reverse. So I think that this person's judgment might be that once you like take the offer off the table, um, you know, you're like, fine, judgment, like, um, I'm not going to be one of the options anymore. Like, uh, great to know that I'm still in the running, but no thanks. And then this person might see you like the Knight of Wands, you know, like very confident and independent and attractive and looking out at your other options. And I think that might have been something that this Page of Cups didn't expect. So, you know, the Knight of Wands is kind of like a sexy card too, or very alluring and, um, just like magnetic and engaging so he might have seen you mm, like not who you really were like how you're seeing in this judgment card you're like you didn't see the beautiful thing that I have inside um you know I'm beautiful on the outside but I also have a really shiny light on the inside and now I'm taking it away and taking it somewhere else and keeping my options open so you know, with the hanged man in reverse, this is a feminine energy here, but I think that it's the page of cups that's having this hangman moment, like looking back, because since the hangman is in reverse, you can see that she's like looking back over all of this situation here. And it's just like giving this person a new perspective. Uh, but I think it's a little too late. And then we have the chariot in reverse. So that could be like, mm, kind of some like, reckless behavior I'm getting. So let's try this other deck and see. Spirit, can you please clarify the chariot in reverse? Because that's kind of switching over to a new energy. Maybe this is the energy that you are going into um, at, you know, in the second week of December. So we have the two of pentacles here, and it says balance, go with the flow and fun. It was in reverse. So now it could be that you are juggling some other situation, Scorpio. So this is getting kind of juicy here. Um, like I said, the chariot in reverse could be kind of like recklessness or, mm, you know, maybe this person and maybe you were in a in a committed relationship with them or like semi committed. And so if that's the case, you know, this would be way more hurtful um, to find out that they were engaging or entertaining other ideas of people to be in a relationship with. And so maybe that, you know, because it hurt and you know, like you're free once again, or, you know, you're just like whatever about this person, if you weren't really committed, maybe that's where I'm getting this reckless feeling from, because it's like, I might go out now and sow my wild oats and party and stuff, which is kind of like what the Knight of Wands looks like here. So with the Two of Pentacles, I think this is just a caution that, you know, you might be going into this energy, which is cool. Like, you know, it's cool to like let loose after this and kind of get your confidence back, um, but that it has a chance to become out of balance and maybe pull you off track of some of your other goals that you have outside of love. So I think that's just spirit kind of giving you like a little warning that, you know, if you sense that kind of happening, there does seem like the energy is there to kind of, you know, just like push it over the edge, maybe into just an imbalance. It also could be that you might be tempted to be like, well, I'm going to go see other people and almost kind of do the same thing that this person did. Like it could be, you know, also juggling two different people. So kind of intense, pretty juicy. That's what I have for you, Scorpio, for the first week of December. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.